Well, today's tutorial is going to be using Blender, and we're going to be stabilizing some video clips. Um, I do want to give credit to uh, Daniel Kruter, maybe is how you say his name. I hope I'm not butchering that too much. Um, I watched his tutorial, and mine's going to be pretty much the same with one or two little differences. Um, but uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, I'm using Blender 2.63, and uh, let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my view to a uh, the movie clip editor. I'm going to click open and I'm going to go and find a video clip that needs stabilizing. Um, so let's see here. I know that these videos right here were handheld, zoomed in pretty far. Let's do this one here. Open it up. Okay, so now if we scrub through this you can see the camera moves around quite a bit. It's a short little clip. Let's see. It's probably uh, about 90 frames. So I'm going to set my project to 90 frames since that's the length of the video. Also make sure, uh, it sure helps a lot if you uh, set your dimensions to your video's dimensions and the frame rate. Um, this makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so you can see how much the camera's moving around in this second and a half clip. Um, so all we need to do is find something to track and stabilize. Um, and you want to do something stationary. Now, uh, first thought in this clip, first thing I see is uh, my friend's uh, shirt here. I could stabilize around those words. And he's not moving very much, but if he was to move, the camera would track him. So he would seem stationary, but everything else in the background and everything else in the video would be moving. If you watched my little uh, test videos I put up uh, a little while back, uh, there was the one with me walking and the camera was on the tripod and everything was stationary and then I tracked myself so everything else was moving but I was stationary so basically if you're trying to stabilize the shot entirely and not just an individual person you want to try to get something that in the background that's one always in the shot and two not moving so let's go back to their first frame here and I think that just like this little part on the door here will work well so I'm going to add a marker put it right there scale it up and just center it. You get a little preview right here. And I think that would be good. I'm going to press this play button and hopefully it will track it through all 90 frames. Seems to be doing good so far. We're about halfway there. And we're almost done. <coughs> and we're done. Great. So very few steps left. So now that we have that point tracked, I'm going to click where it says tracking here and change this to reconstruction. And right here you can see there's a tab for uh, 2D stabilization. Click that, check it, and with our track selected we're going to click add and add it there. There's something else in this tab I'm going to show you here in a moment, um, but we'll come back to it. First we're going to go up here to the compositing. So in our compositor we're going to check nodes and we'll say auto render. We will then delete this box because we're not rendering anything from our 3D view. We'll go shift A and say our input would be a movie clip. And uh, we already have imported so we don't have to click open. We're just going to click the little strip here icon of the uh, film strip and choose that video. And then we're going to shift A and we're going to go down to distort, stabilize 2D. Once again, we already have the video imported, so we're going to click here and choose that same video. There's a drop down here with a few different options. I have not played with them. I just leave it on the default nearest. And we're going to go out like that. And we'll hit F12 to render out this frame here. Right now we're on frame 90. Now you'll notice there is a black border around parts of the screen. And that's because basically we're moving the virtual camera, if you will, to follow that background to stabilize it, which means things are going to be cut off. So if we go to different frames, so if the first frame, nothing's cut off because that's what we're, where we started. But if we go up 10 frames, you can see there's a little bit of black on this side because of the way my camera was moving. Up 10 more frames, same thing. Now we're moving it down and to the right. So that's just because of my movement. Now, you can try to figure out and crop the video yourself over here in your dimensions, or if we go back to our last view in our movie clip editor, there is a button or a checkbox for auto scale. 
And then if we go back to our compositor, you can see there's the black bar. We'll hit F12 to render that frame again. And it's cropped perfectly now. And that's pretty much it. At this point, we'll choose what video format we want. I like using XVID, although there's plenty of options. And then I'll just call this stable one dot avi and i will click render i will render it out and then i will put the original shaky video next to this new render and you'll see that in a moment but i first would like to ask you to visit my website filmsbychris.com that's chris the k should be a link in the description if you need help with anything check out our irc channel by clicking the help button on my website or there should be also be a link to in the description of this video for that as well um, and if you enjoy my videos, think about donating. There is a donate button on my website. Thank you all for watching. Hope that you have a great day. And here are side-by-side -side comparison of the original video compared to the stabilized video.